there are signs up in our building and one of the quotes on one of the signs that we have is from General Patton. The golden rules of war, speed, simplicity, and boldness. And I believe those to be true. And I think it's a great philosophy for the golden rules of winning a football game. I know that schedules work differently around the country, but for a good portion of high school football, this is game week. And it's a Wednesday, and by the end of this day, the hay is in the barn, as they say. But I think we have a great podcast here a short one from Coach Jeff Munkin, who talks about the seven commandments of football in this entire talk, which is available on CoachTube. But in this segment, he focuses on something that we have control over, missed assignments and penalties. And so as you finish up this week, you finish up your game plan, something really to emphasize either today in practice, maybe you go over it tomorrow one more time, but the idea of these are the things that we control as coach is going to talk about right here. So a great short podcast, something I think to finalize here with your team as you head into the season. I know some of you maybe aren't kicking the ball off here till September, uh, but those are the things you want to focus on now. So here's coach Jeff Munkin on controlling the controllables, missed assignments and penalties. Number three is missed assignments and foolish penalties. The, the thing I like about this, like the, the being mentally tough piece, nobody else controls this. The opponent can't control if I know my assignments or not. The opponent doesn't control whether we have uh, 12 people in the huddle or I line up in the neutral zone or I jump off sides when the play's on, on two and I go on one. Uh, they, they don't control it. I, as an individual, have my own control over knowing what I'm supposed to do and taking that responsibility and not hurting my team with foolish penalties. We also, as coaches, have a tremendous responsibility in this in teaching. So teach our guys to be disciplined, to, to go on two when it's on two and not go on one when it's on two, to line up where they're supposed to line up, to watch the back stripe of the ball if I'm on defense or watch my key when I'm on defense, or if I'm blocking a kick uh, on the punt block team, I'm watching the back stripe of the ball to, to line up with, with my foot on the line on a kickoff play or to line up making sure that I'm, I'm breaking the center's waist on a punt play Uh, to, to have the correct personnel in the game, to not uh, wait too long on offense to call a play where, Our quarterback can't get the team to the line of scrimmage and get a playoff before there's a delay of game. There's there's a lot of things that we can control as as coaches and our players can control on the field. And this is one of them, not having foolish penalties. Second, uh, and the first thing I have here, talking about missed assignments. You know, the missed assignments, a a lot of times we we are quick to, to blame our players. And to say, you got to learn your assignments. You got to learn your, you got to learn your plays. But but we are completely responsible for this as coaches. And there are signs up in our building. And and one of the quotes on on that, uh, on one of the signs that we have is from General Patton, who's a graduate of of West Point. There are signs up in our building. And and one of the quotes on on that, uh, on one of the signs that we have is from General Patton, who's a graduate of of West Point General. General Patton said the golden rules of war, speed, simplicity, and boldness. And and I believe those to be true. And I think it's a great philosophy for the golden rules of winning a football game. We want our guys to play fast. We want it to be simple enough that they can learn it and execute what they're supposed to be doing. And we want them to be bold. We want them to go for it take a shot, take a chance. And, and so if our guys are going to play fast and be bold, then we've got to make it simple enough for them to learn. That, that's completely the responsibility of the coaches. Now, it doesn't take it off of the players. When they're sitting in a meeting room, they've got to listen. When they get sent a, a, a link of film to watch, watch it. When somebody else is doing a drill, in practice, they're listening and, and they're, they're taking a mental rep 
And when they get in there, they try their best to, to, to do it the right way so that muscle memory of, of playing their assignment correctly becomes ingrained in, in, in their head. But that's also the responsibility of the coaches. So my philosophy on this is if a player can't execute his assignments and can't learn what to do, then he either is incapable of doing that, he doesn't have the intellect to learn it, he doesn't care, it doesn't matter to him, or it's either too difficult, it, it's too complex for him to learn, or we're not doing a very good job of teaching it. And I tend to believe that it's the, the second two things, because I, I, I think I think players that play this game have a desire to be good. I think a, a, a young man or a young woman who plays a sport, they, they're not there to, to go through the motions. They want to have success. They want their teammates to see them performing. They want their parents and their loved ones and their friends to, to, to see what they're doing and, and, uh, and, and be proud of their effort. I think they want to learn how to execute their assignments. So the desire is there. If we make it too complex or we don't do a good job teaching it, that's our fault as coaches. So we want to eliminate as much as possible missed assignments and foolish penalties. And I've never coached a game in 32 two years where there were zero missed assignments. There's going to be missed assignments. And it happens. It, the, the, there's a breakdown in communication. Uh, we're human beings. We just... We're, we're not perfect, and we're going to make mistakes at times. But there shouldn't be, to be a multitude of missed assignments in, in our game because our, our, our players have a desire, and, and they're all smart enough to figure it out if we'll give them a scheme that's simple enough, and we'll do a great job teaching it. So I've got no statistics on that, obviously, because there, there, there are no statistics on how missed assignments and foolish penalties affect a game. There are statistics about penalties, but it, frankly, teams that are more penalized are not necessarily teams that lose games. In fact, there are some statistics that, that show that teams are, that are more penalized oftentimes win more games, but those are aggressive penalties, guys that are going for it, guys that, that, that are trying to break up a pass uh, in the secondary and they interfere or guys that are, are going for a, a tackle on the sideline and the guy had a foot out of bounds and they get called for a late hit, uh, things like that. And that th those, those can be foolish at times, but aggressive penalties are different than foolish penalties. And uh, we don't want to have any, any penalties. We're trying to eliminate them all together, but uh, th this is something we can control. And I feel like it's important for our players to have pieces of these, this plan and pieces of these commandments that they have complete control over. Good luck this week as you continue to prepare for the season or if you're teeing it up on Friday. Again, I think an incredible message there from Coach Munkin on focusing on some of those things that we have control over this season. Again, the entire talk is available on CoachTube. It was part of the Lawrence First and Goal Clinic where Coach delivered this talk. Uh, check the show notes for a link to that, as well as the, using the code CCPTUFF to save 50% on this course. That will be in the show notes as well. Follow all we're doing throughout the season on Twitter at Coach K Grabowski and on our website, coachandcoordinator.com.